on guys, Custom Arson Mox here. Got some awesome news for you guys um, in regards to this build that I've been working on recently, as you know. So, um, I did have some communication with some uh, uh, very friendly members on rcgroups.com um, about if these Blade Xerox uh, FC board would work with this drone. And uh, it was a strong no. I knew it was a long shot, but uh, it was overall kind of made sense. Um, this is a 2S drone, and in order to even think about uh, lifting a GoPro, it's going to definitely need a 2S battery. So, um, the options that were presented were to get a new FC board um, that would be um, compatible with like a WL Toys or a Wakara or something to, um, like a Saima style board that I could just easily solder up to and everything would be good, um, which sounds like a decent option. Um, but the other option that I found was to go on to eBay and look for some uh, Sentinel Spy Drone, uh, uh, like just see if I could get one for cheap and kind of modify it with the transmitter and things like that. So I actually found a good deal on one for about 40 bucks um, as currently. Um, I'm going to see if I can get that lowered or something or I don't know. Um, I, I've invested, I just saw it and I looked into it and it looked cool. So basically it was a crash Sentinel Spy Drone. Um, and one thing that was missing, it had one prop, prop that broke and was tra uh, thrown out, so that's missing. Um, and then it had um, the one of these ends on the shell was cracked. And so I thought that that is perfect. It came with the controller and everything. However it is, as is, so I hope that everything still works. But um, it looks like I might be taking the jump on that, I hope. Um, it depends on how everything shakes out, honestly, because I don't really know. Um, how long that offer will be going on for so hopefully I'll jump on it quickly but you never know so uh, yeah so basically what that means is that I'm going to be using all the original functionality of this drone meaning that this camera and flight controller will be going back on so um, how it's looking as of right now is uh, something like the uh, something like the camera going on first kind of underneath and then there's a little bit of sticky tape on the back side of the camera. As you can see, and sticking that to the front right here um, as a, more of an FPV so we can have the GoPro below. And then uh, I'm going to put this battery tray upside down on the top and kind of screw it in um, kind of loosely so the battery slides in just like that. And then with the matching up holes, hopefully I can get this FC board mounted on top of the battery with some uh, either some sticky tape or just the holes so yeah that's looks like looking like how it's all gonna uh, stack up if you will um, I do need to put a few I have to resolder everything so if I found if I had found this deal a little bit beforehand I would have been a little bit happier but that's okay um, as it is I guess so um, overall things are really looking up um, but what this also this deal means is that I will have another drone coming my way so um, I already have a bunch of extra blades. I have another full set of blades that are red for this drone, as well as uh, prop guards, um, an extra uh, landing gear leg, and uh, all the um, the shell and the uh, the LED light uh, pieces that go on the underside of the shell. So I'm going to be able to rebuild this drone, hopefully, um, to have two of these that can both be converted. So one, I might keep stock, and this one will obviously be the modified version. If I like this enough, I might uh, make the other one a enough modified version or something similar like that. So I don't know how that's going to shake out. I don't. I can't say for sure that I'm going to be getting that deal yet, but I'm really excited, and that that, that would be a possibility for me. It's an as-is drone, so hopefully everything works. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's a little update on the uh, Sentinel Spy Drone DIY conversion. Um, I'm really excited where this drone is going. Uh, I've kind of been posting a lot lately about it. I'm really, every little crack of time that I have, I'm thinking about what, what I'm actually going to do with this drone uh, next and what I'm going to do to make it better. So uh, one last note, I am going to be replacing the Hero 3 Plus mount with a Jello mount. So uh, that there's like, I think it's like with zip ties so that all the um, Jello, that, so all the vibration from the props will not be um, taken into the camera footage which you've probably seen that before so thank you guys for watching and i will catch you in the next video